Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Clayton Andrews. I am a Sickle Cell Champions Association member. I am the co-founder and chair of the organization. I am also the coordinator for the Men's Action Network. I am a 37-year-old father of four, an advocate and patient with sickle cell, and a mental health professional as well. I am pleased to present to you our plans for the sickle cell man. The Sickle Cell Champions Association and the Men's Action Network are geared towards the continued engagement of the young sickle cell male. The purpose of the Sickle Cell Champions Mentoring Association uh, was to come together and create a platform of young men to collectively identify the issues and needs for our warriors and to create a shared vision to solve involving our male warriors. The Sickle Cell Champions Association assembled as an affiliate of advocates representing a male voice bringing awareness to the disease, and also in order to inform the patient, family, and the community. More specifically, it was constructed in an effort to mentor and guide youth that have been stricken with this blood disorder. The SCCA, as we'll call it, Sickle Cell Champions Association, designed a positive mentoring program to guide the youth through their transitioning years into adulthood. In tandem, the Men's Action Network was formed in order to bring a male perspective to the sickle cell community for the purpose of positive change and education for those who are not aware of sickle cell disease and its impact on the experiences of the male warrior in their daily lives, including the familial and societal expectations of the sickle cell male. Dr. Trevor Thompson originally envisioned the sickle man as an organization built to support, educate, and empower the advocates for the sickle male. The concept provided guidance to males with sickle cell as they navigated their responsibilities as men, fathers, brothers, employees, and pillars of their communities as a whole during their navigation through their experiences with sickle cell disease. As we collected a synopsis of the needs of the sickle cell warrior, various issues were identified, including the warrior male's role in his family, working with sickle cell, dealing with medical issues and health, and other identified needs. MAN was designed to provide an infrastructure of support to the sickle cell male. The conceptual design places focus on the presence of several sickle cell community-based organizations patient and caregiver advocates, community partners, and other advisors taking part in the structuring of this organization solely with the emphasis on the sickle cell warrior male, acting as a working entity in organizing the provisions of a framework for developing an infrastructure for stakeholders and in applying impactful models, working to identify and rectify the needs of the sickle cell male. Man has the been developed to represent the implementation of change and impact for the advocacy in the lives of the sickle cell patients.
the SCCA and MAN work together in a unified manner to identify and address the collective warrior needs of the sickle cell male throughout the country. Last year's focus in 2019 was in getting to know the sickle cell male. MAN and SECA collaborated during the Family Patient Symposium to bring together a workshop track in Plano, Texas, offering an in-depth look into the sickle cell male and his role as leader, mentor, and his responsibilities faced and the relationships experienced by the sickle cell male. Those, of those tracks, we looked at the mentor, a SCCA presentation, the male, an examination, um, an examination of the responsibilities of the sickle cell male and the relationship, social navigation and the sickle cell male, as well as presentations on the role of the sickle cell warrior during the GALS Inc event, what do you know about sickle cell in the fall? The team represents a group of males concerned about their fellow SCD warrior, a body of different organizations of men coming together to focus on the goal of being a male voice of education, support, and advocacy in the sickle cell community. Due to the recent complexities involving the COVID-19 pandemic, significant changes were made in reference to planning for 2020 as well as the 2021 year. Those changes involve bringing a male voice to the sickle cell community based on getting our objectives into four main areas to include mentoring, mental health, pain management, and increased male involvement and planning for a 2021 men's leadership retreat. The Sickle Cell Men's Action Network are, waiting to, are working to create a platform of men to collectively identify the issues and needs of our warrior males and creating a shared vision engaging the sickle cell man and collecting that synopsis of the needs of the sickle cell warrior, various issues have been identified to include the man's role in his family, working, employment, medical issues, and health. Man was designed to provide an infrastructure of support to the sickle cell male. welcome all sickle cell warrior males to join us in growing this organization with members from Atlanta, Georgia to Augusta, Georgia, Oklahoma City, and Dallas and other locations. If you have or know someone with a young male with sickle cell disease and think that they could benefit by joining us, please contact us. Thank you so much for your time and your patience in listening to me. And thank you very much and have a good day.